In this lesson, we'll learn how to navigate in 3D space inside of 3ds Max. So in order for us to work properly inside of 3D, before we can actually do anything in 3ds Max, we need to know how we can actually navigate the 3D space. So let's go ahead and discover how we can use the keyboard and mouse, the more traditional methods for navigating 3D space, to go ahead and view our objects. So first thing that I want to show you is how we can actually pan in our viewport. So if we hold down the middle mouse button or the scroll wheel on your mouse, click it in just like a button, and if you hold it and drag your mouse, this will allow you to pan your viewport. Okay, And panning is basically just moving the viewport in a parallel fashion. Okay, We're not actually rotating or orbiting around our object yet. Now we can pan in any view that we want and we can orbit really in any view that we want. Okay, So I'm just holding down the middle mouse button and moving these viewports. Now one thing that I do want you to notice is that whenever we click inside of a viewport you'll notice this yellow border that pops up around that viewport. Whenever this border is on this viewport that means that this is the active viewport. Okay, So I just wanted to give you that quick note there. Now let's talk about actually orbiting around our objects. So let's hold down Alt on our keyboard and we're going to click in that middle mouse button. We're going to hold it down and then we'll move our mouse left and right and this will allow us to rotate around our object or orbit around our object and then if we move our mouse up and down, this will basically orbit up and over our object. Okay. Now, we really want to orbit in just the perspective view. Whenever we're working in the front, top, or left view, we really don't want to orbit. Let me show you what that looks like. So I'm going to hold down Alt and orbit in my front view. And you'll notice that our grid starts to look very odd and sometimes we can lose our geometry whenever we orbit like that. So what I'm going to do is you'll notice that this has changed to orthographic and what I'm going to do is switch this back to front just by clicking on that. So we'll hit front and it'll switch us right back to that view. So that's really why you don't want to orbit in, in the front, top, or left. Just the perspective. Now the last thing that I want to show you is how we can actually zoom in and out on an object. And we do that just by using our mouse wheel and scrolling in and scrolling out. Okay, So that's pretty simple. It's just kind of like navigating a web page. Uh, you scroll up to zoom in and you scroll down to zoom out. Alright, so that is using the keyboard and mouse, but we did talk about using the viewport navigation tools in the last lesson. So I want to kind of show you some of these tools. I'm not going to show you all of them, uh, just some of the, the majors. Okay. So we have zoom that we could use, and we just click and hold, and we can zoom in and out just by dragging our mouse. And we have zoom, or zoom all, and this will basically do the same thing as zoom, except it will do it in all of the viewports at the same time. Now we have zoom extent selected, and what this will do is actually zoom in on the object. So let's say we've lost our geometry. We're lost in our space and we can't find it. So if we hit this zoom extent selected, it'll go ahead and zoom in on that object. Okay. Now the next one is zoom extents all, so that'll do all of the viewports. Now we have pan, which we can go ahead and use this tool and just use our left mouse button and pan this way. Okay, And we have our orbit tool, which brings up an actual tool here in our viewport. And if we click and hold inside of this circle, this will allow us to orbit around our object. But if we click outside of that orbit tool, or that circle, this will kind of move like a, a camera is rotating on its side. So you just want to kind of be careful whenever using this tool. Sometimes that can get a little confusing. Okay. And then the final tool that we have available to us is called Maximize Viewport. 
and if we click on this it'll maximize the active viewport so that way we can see a little bit easier on our viewport and if you want to go back to that quad view or that quad layout you just click that button one more time okay alright so in this lesson we've discovered how we can navigate inside of 3d space so now we're ready to go ahead and show you how we can select objects inside of 3ds max